Finding Prime Numbers In this program, you'll learn about a great way to understand prime numbers. First though, do you know what a prime number is? Every prime number has exactly two factors, and they are one and the number itself. Or to put this another way, each prime number is only ever divisible by itself and one. This means that one can't be a prime number. We're going to use an ancient mathematical approach called the sieve of Eratosthenes. It's a fun and easy way to understand what a prime number is. And prove for yourself the first prime numbers up to 100. It's also a really cool thing to review right before you do prime factorization. We use the sieve of Eratosthenes to get rid of every number that is not a prime. When we're done, the only numbers that will be left are prime numbers. When you do this, take a sheet with 1 to 100 on it. I can only put up to 50 on the screen, so it's big enough to read, but you're going to get the idea. We already said that 1 is not a prime number, so we cross it out. Now you go to the first number that is not crossed out, that's 2. Mark it as prime. Now cross out all of its remaining multiples. 2 is clearly the only even prime number. Now go to the next number that is not crossed out, that's 3. Mark it as prime. Now cross out all the multiples of 3. Some have already been done, but I'll cross them off again so you can see the multiples. I think you're getting the idea now. The next number that hasn't been crossed out is 5. Circle it as a prime number. Get rid of its multiples, everything ending in a 5 or 0. You can see that the next prime is 7. Get rid of its multiples, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. The next prime number is 11. Cross out the multiples. 22, 33, 44. 13 is the next prime number. Get rid of the multiples, you see. 26, 39. Now we're on to 17. Sieve out the multiple. Two 17s, 34. 19 is next. Cross out 38 because that's its multiple. 23. You know what to do. 46 is gone. And now you can see the remaining primes up to 50. 29 is a prime. 31. 37. 41. 43. And 47. Now have a go on paper yourself. And you go all the way up to 100. When you've done it, save it so you can review prime numbers whenever you feel the need. Have fun with the sieve of Eratosthenes. Created using Powtoon.